Where is Sinubu? Where is Emilio Kong? These are some of the hashtags trending today on social media after APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed Sinubu's absence at the signing of the National Peace Accord on Thursday in Abuja. His running mate Kashim Shetima was present, including presidential candidates from different parties. But many Nigerians, especially those on Twitter, that bird up. They were displeased by Tinubu's absence and different names have circulated with his picture. Trust people on Twitter. Let's check a few tweets now. This one says Peter Obi seems to be the only presidential candidate whose whereabouts are never secret. We are 100% aware of his movement. That is transparency. I have my evidence. Where is Tinubu? Another comment now from at first leadership. Buhari ruled Nigeria in absentia, he ruled via process. At this point, anyone still supporting Ashiwaju to rule Nigeria in absentia, that person is the devil personified, says at first ladyship. But Bola Ahmed Tinobu was absent at the presidential peace accord signing. Where is Tinobu? Everyone keeps asking. Why was he absent? Dr. Penn King says, this is exactly how Buhari played hide and seek with us before the election until he won and ghosted everybody. Tinubu is planning to play the same card, that's what they think, but Nigerians know better now. Election has commenced, where is Tinubu? Away from that, the sound of gunfire in Burkina Faso's capital has raised fears of yet another coup. Residents woke up to reports of shots around Burkina Faso's presidential palace and headquarters of its military junta, which seized power in a coup last January. Reports have it that several main roads were blocked on Friday by troops and state television was cut, broadcasting a blank screen which was saying no video signal. And this has elicited various tweets on social media with certain people inciting Ugandans to replicate the same thing in their own country. Let's check out some reactions. Yano says, Dear Uganda, Burkina Faso is doing this for the second time this year. Museveni has stayed long enough and you can also do it. Wow. Jeremy says, there's news of another coup in Burkina Faso. This level of instability is the exact thing I hoped West Africa had put behind in at the turn of the century. Those who think African military leaders are a vanguard against imperialism should be aware. And we also have this tweet from Kulo Kamrad. Burkina Faso is for the second time doing what Ugandans have refused to do for over 36 years now. Do with this tweet what you will. Now, after seven years, South African TV host Trevor Noah has announced his exit as host of The Daily Show. He made this known at the end of his show on Thursday night, causing many of his audience members to gasp in shock. He thanked his crew, staff members, and the audience for their support, especially at the beginning of the show when it was still less known. Now, the 38 year old Emmy winner also thanked the Comedy Central Network for giving him a chance and added that he has other aspects of his life he wants to carry on exploring. Now, did we enjoy his time on the show? Definitely. Are we going to miss him? Yes. Well, here are some tweets reacting to Trevor's exit from the daily show. This one says, wow, Trevor Neal made a mark with The Daily Show. He knows how to get you laughing every episode. Yes, I agree with that one. He will be missed, absolutely. And we have another comment from Tibo's essay. He says, Trevor Neal won an Emmy, hosted Grammys twice, hosted a White House correspondent dinner. Currently has sold out world tours. In seven years, managed to have a net worth of $100 million. Yet, someone says, someone is calling him a failure. We celebrate him for all he has achieved in seven years. And we have this one from Dow B-Boy. If you wondered how long someone can keep a network gig simply by playing the race card to guilt white liberals, as Trevor Noir has supplied the answer. Seven years. Congratulations, Trevor. We are looking forward to the next phase. Well, that's all for tonight on NC Trends. Stay connected at New Central TV on all our social media platforms. I am Shion Bankole. See you on Monday.